Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Tatamus Prime back, not with a review this time. Not really sure what I'm calling this yet. Um, as most of you have known, I was on Patriot Primes, the sit rep. Um, in my last video, I posted a link to it, to the interview that he did with me, which was episode one. Uh, I believe he's on four now. Uh, which is doing really well. It's it's an excellent, excellent segment and part of his uh, channel. I highly suggest you go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. But one of the questions that he asked, I'm not going to go through the whole list because you need to go see it yourself. But one of the questions that he asked me was, what was my holy grail, my white whale? Um, now that... That's a difficult question because to me, there's levels of Holy Grail. I don't know if I'm the only one that's like that. Uh, I have my possibly attainable Holy Grail. And then there's the one that there's no chance in hell. I'm never going to get it. It's just something that's not going to happen. And the way he defined it was it was that one transformer that if you ever got it, that you would, you could quit collecting. To me, I, I don't have that definition. There is never going to be that one transformer that I could have and then just only have one transformer. And to me, that's why I, I was looking at it. And uh, so, you know, if, if you've been following me throughout any amount of time, especially in the past, we all know that Devastators is one of my favorite Transformers. I mean, he is, he's my Holy Grail. He's my attainable Holy Grail. Uh, one that's not likely to happen but it's possible then there's the unattainable holy grail which was for fortress max uh, fortress maximus the g1's cool don't get me wrong i love the g1 he's amazing i really liked what titans returns did with their fortress maximus and their metroplex and their and to be totally honest, and I'm going to get a lot of hate from my G1ers, man. Trypticon sucked. I hated him. I never liked Trypticon until Titans Returns did their version of Trypticon. Amazing. I'm now in love with Trypticon. Just not the G1. I I don't know. It It's too small. It... Uh, I don't know, but whatever it is that, that, that doesn't catch me with the G1 made up for it in Titans Returns. They, they fixed whatever the fuck it was. So I did the, the interview with him. I was his guest on his sit rep blast. It was an awesome time. I'm, people are going to get sick of me pimping it, but it's it's an amazing, amazing thing that he's doing for the community uh, as a whole, as to showing us and introducing us to new people and those that we've known or watched for years to finally get to know them and get inside their brains and, and see how they feel about certain things. And I, like I said, I don't want to spoil his 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 show <laughs> so i'm not gonna list off everything he asked me or anyone else for that fact but uh there was a guy i mean a lot of people have watched it uh but i had gotten a message see we let me explain here i got sorry i'm backtracking here and stumbling all over the place um we wanted to do it live, but we couldn't figure out how to do it, so we recorded it, 
And since we couldn't have people ask us questions during the interview process, we opened up the comment section and then both of us, we both respond to every comment. I mean, if, if it doesn't happen, something went down. There's a reason that I didn't respond. And it's a, it's a legit reason. It's not a, I'm ignoring you kind of a thing. You guys, all my subscribers, you guys know that I answer. Yeah, I talk to you. Shit, that's how we become friends. Um, I, I wouldn't have a quarter of the friends <laughs> without this YouTube and, and talking to you guys in the comments. I mean, that's how you get to know each other, and that's what a community is about. And so there was a comment that was, to me, uh, from a dude, uh, which I'm being honest, I had never heard of him before. His name was Adamantium Matrix. And, well, shit, now I got to backtrack again. Anyways, anyways, my, my white whale was Titans Returns, Fortress Max, for, God damn it, Fortress Maximus, Titans Returns. And uh, that's one that I just knew I'd never get. It just never happened. Anyhow, got a comment from Adamantium Matrix. Said that he had an extra one in his closet. Was I interested? Well, of course I'm interested. I'm sitting here going, wow, shit, dude. Dude's got one he's willing to sell. I was like, hell yeah, you know. See what's going on here, you know. Maybe, shit, maybe he even cut me a little deal on him. Fuck, you never know. Um people have been really really kind to me and uh i i responded and he's he said it was a gift i'm like oh come on man, man seriously and i'm sitting there thinking okay yeah whatever bullshit no one's just gonna give me my holy grail the unattainable holy grail it's just not gonna happen My bro, Adamantium Matrix, came through within seven days of the comment, I now possess my holy grail. Titans Returns, Fortress Maximus. I could sit here all day and look at him like this, but you guys can't see me, so we're going to have to, I don't I'm just going to have to put him back on the floor. Uh, <laughs> he's just too fucking big. I don't have the room. Anyhow. I'm just, I'm just floored. I didn't even open it until... I think I had him three days before I opened him up. The... Just the mere thought of attaining the unattainable. I'm still in shock. Um, I, oh, he's been out and he's been fucked with quite quite a bit. Trust me. <laughs> Adamantium, he's in good hands. Trust me. Um, he's not going to see the light of the camera until I'm done with him, though. I want to get the DNA kits for the hands and the feet. I want to get the cannons, um, the fix for the head. Fuck, if I could even go as far as to get the uh, San Diego Comic-Con Cerebros that does the Transformers song, that is a must. <laughs> I mean, I'm and I'm going to repro-label him. Um, I kind of fucked up. Uh, I wasn't going to label him. Yeah, I keep looking over at him. I'm sorry about that. I'm talking to you. So... I wasn't going to label him up because I know that I'm getting repro labels for him. He's going to be repro labeled up. Uh, them, them labels are fucking phenomenal. And uh, three days in, I had to do it. I had to put stickers on him. I couldn't not do it. So I'll be peeling some stickers off of him when I repro, repro label him up. Which is no big deal. It's just, he's amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I could not not label him up. Uh, so the point of my my video, since we're what fucking seven minutes in, I haven't even gotten to the main point yet. Uh, first point: Adamantium Matrix. He was just a viewer. Um, he had a channel, has a channel, and uh, but he doesn't. He, he you know he wasn't doing reviews or anything. And then of course we've been talking and we've become friends. And uh, he mentioned that you know the thought of doing a review or something like that that ran through his head. And I'm like, F dude, fuck man, I encourage anyone anyone watching this if you have ever once had just an inkling of an idea or a, or a question of what it would be like to do a review do it try it see if you like it um you're going to love it it's fucking amazing the, the the friend you make just to be able to show off your transformers help people out by showing them shitty transformers, uh, defects. I mean, that's, I've become kind of known for that, um, because of my horrid luck that I've had in the past, but I can't say that I have that anymore. My whole collection of transformers now, since I had to get rid of my last collection, have all been donations. Every single fucking one has been a donation because of my inability to be able to work. I'm not going to make this into a whole fucking why don't I have me video. But needless to say, I have no income. I have no way to get income right now. So therefore, I can't go out and I can't buy Transformers. So all of my collection are donations. Every single fucking piece has sentimental value. I can tell you exactly where this transformer came from, who it came from. I'm not going to be able to tell you when I got it because <laughs> I'm not that fucking, my brain memory ain't that great. But I can tell you which piece of my collection came from what person. And you guys are all amazing. And I can't, like I said, I can't thank you enough. But I encourage each and every one of you, if you've ever thought about trying to do a Transformers review or anything, just do it. Because you never know until you try. Well, I keep wanting to use his real name because we're, we're buds now. Uh, but I'm going to keep referring to it. Adamantium Matrix now has... We were talking and he said fuck it and he did a collection video. Now I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a picture of his uh his little channel here. And then on in the description below, I'm gonna put a link to his collection video. Now he also has done his first review um of Titan Returns Hot Rod. Amazing. Dude's just starting out. And he's doing really good. He's doing way fucking better than I did on my first fucking couple of videos. I'll guarantee you that. Um, so I highly suggest you guys go check this guy out. Not just because he gave me Fort Max. You guys know me better than that. I'm not like that. That's not me. I'm real. I don't fuck around. I'm not paid off. I'm not bought. Dude was super fucking cool. And hooked me up. And I've done this for people that I barely knew in the comments that, you know, like it's something I used to do a lot in the past. I used to do a lot of shout out videos. I'm, I'm going to start doing them again. And it's just to help spread the community. It's my, it's just my way of giving back, you know, to, to thank you guys for all that you've done for me. And, and, Fuck, I was gone for nine years and you're still here. A lot of you. I mean, shit. What more could I expect? I, 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 I never expected that. I mean, granted, my subscriber count went, it bottomed out, but fuck nine years, I would have unsubscribed to my ass too. 
I wasn't doing anything. My channel was dead. But it's growing again. And it's thanks to you guys. And like Patriot Prime hooking me up, you know? seeing People seeing me on that show that he did, the sit rep, is what hooked me up with Adamantium Matrix. And other people too, you know, that I have met through people seeing that video and commenting and then me responding and then you just it just happens naturally so you guys really need to go check this guy's channel out check out his collection uh he just started collecting in 2016 i believe he said um i believe so i think it was when titans returns came out is when he started collecting and he has one hell of a titans return collection it is beautiful. It is amazing. He has a really good collection. He's a G1 or two. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I really would appreciate it if you guys go give this guy some love. Go check out his channel. And uh, I mean, he's just starting out. He needs some some views, man. People check him out just to see if you're into it. If you're into it, sub the dude, man. Sub him. Watch his shit. Enjoy it. Fucking comment with him. Become friends. Make friends. Shit. That's what this is all about. Having fun. And, dude, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> yeah. Now, the second part to this video is... I don't know how to feel. I have my holy grail. Now what? Which leads back to Patriot's question, you know. If you get that one Transformer, you'd be done. Well, no, I'm not done. No, not, not by any means. Um, I My collection now has a foundation of Titan proportions. Yes, that was corny as fuck, but I had to throw it in there. My whole collection now, this time differs from the collection that I had the first time and I had some really good shit I did for the time I I had some I had my masterpiece prime loved him I had my G1 devastator fucking loved him and then I also had some shit a lot of shit because that was what was out at the time and I would buy stuff and then find out that it sucked my whole collection is amazing. I love every single fucking piece this time around. And it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. So my question is for you guys. If you have your white whale or holy grail, the unattainable holy grail, like I do with my Fort Matri Fortress Maximus now, how do you feel? How did it affect your collection? For mine, it's a... It, like I said, it's the foundation of my collection. It's it's the pillar for my collection. My It all fits together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. It's all coming together completely, and it's looking beautiful, and it's amazing, and it's awesome. And I just, I'm over the moon and back. I'd like to see some video responses to whether, like, if, if you have your Holy Grail. And when I say Holy Grail, I'm referring to my Fort Max, the unattainable Holy Grail that I always thought was going to be atta unattainable. If you ever attained it, how did it change your collection or change your view of your collection for me it tied everything together it's tying everything together i've also since then um <laughs> we'll get into that one later that's another i i now have two titans <clears throat> uh, but that's gonna be for another video um uh, yeah but i want to know i'd like i'm interested to find out you know how do you feel now that you have that holy grail that you thought you'd never ever have 
uh, how did it change your vision of collecting or, or, uh, like for me, I just, like I said, it ties everything together and now there's more that I want. I have, I have, I have now, of course, have another Holy Grail. I mean, it, it once you achieve one, you're, of course, that's, that leaves a negative space that needs to be filled with another Holy Grail. <laughs> I have Triptychon, I have Fort Max, now I need to get Metroplex. I got to. I can't not have. It's like getting two of the Seekers, you're getting Starscream and Thundercracker. Where's the other one? Oh, come on. You know, it's, 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 it's a collection is always going to be incomplete. There is never going to be a com complete collection because they're going to keep coming out with more and more shit. So, but I know that for me, it has pulled my collection together. It's made it amazing. It's, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, it hasn't changed. It's not, I don't feel like I'm done collecting by any means. Um, there's so many others that I want to get. Uh, but I, I'm interested to find out how you guys, if you've, if you've attained it, how you felt when you got it. And how it affected your collection. And if you haven't, excuse me, if you haven't achieved or attained your Holy Grail yet, what is it and why? Why do you want it? Um, and, and by the Holy Grail, I mean that one that you think you're never going to ever get, like I did with my Titans Returns for Max. That's what I'm interested in finding out. I'm, I'm interested to find out what you guys feel about attaining your Holy Grail. And then again, I'm going to put a link. Go check out Adamantium Matrix. He's awesome. He's a great dude. He's just starting off. He needs the views. He's, he really is a good reviewer. I, I'm impressed. His first review fucking made mine look like shit. I was like, damn, dude, you're doing really good for your first fucking review you know and his collection was amazing um but yeah go check him out i'll put the link to his collection video in the in the description below and then from there go check out his his uh review his first review and uh show him some support uh i support all of you uh you support me let's all support each other patriots support in the community doing the sit rep i mean and then you got gerard bringing everybody together bringing the old school back i mean he's still putting that that dude is he's a fighter i'll tell you what wolfgang wolfgang one that motherfucker will not quit fighting he will not sit down he will not stop until this shit is done he wants to get some of us old schools back and doing this shit again so, my next video is going to be a fucking review. I promise. I keep putting it off. It's been one thing after another's happened. It's just, I got to get a review in now. <laughs> There's been so much other shit. I've had real life shit go down. Uh, and and then, of course, I, I don't, I got my holy grail. I got my fucking holy grail. And it is just as good, if not better, than I ever thought it would be. And I'm very interested to find out. So please, please, do a video response to this. Let me know. I want to know how you guys felt when you got your your holy grail. Uh, and what your new one is. You know, mine's Metroplex. Titans Returns. Uh, what's yours? Since you attained your Holy Grail. What's what's your new Holy Grail? I'm just, just curious because the, the, 
I'm still in shock. I've had him for <laughs> quite some time now, actually. A um, couple weeks. And I'm still giddy as a fucking kid on Christmas morning. Every time I fucking look at him, I just smile. Big old fucking smile. I, it's, it's amazing. Him and Triptychon facing off. It's, it's just beautiful. So, that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see you guys' response. Do some video responses. Um, let me know. I want to check them out. And see how you guys feel or felt about getting your unattainable Holy Grail. Or you can talk about your attainable ones too. That's great. That's also... A, a Holy Grail is a Holy Grail, man. A great Transformer is a great Transformer. Uh, you can't beat the love of a of of a, of a toy like that and having it. All right, guys, I'm going to try to keep this down. I'm way past. Oh, God, I've been doing this for quite some time now. This has been a long video. All right, guys, this has been Tatumus Prime. Go check out Adamantium Matrix. Show him some love. Let's help get this guy going here because he has a collection to do the reviews on for sure and i'm he, he does a really good job he's he's still breaking you know he's he's breaking the ice he's just starting off we've all done our first video we know how we are when we do that we feel nervous we're anxious and he's coming around he i mean for starting out dude you did good, bro. You did very good. Uh, I was very stiff when I started off. And he was he, he's very relaxed. He's a lot more relaxed than what I was. Uh, he's more natural in front of the camera. Which is another thing that I like. He's You get to see him. He's not hands. At least that's what it is. he's doing like I do now. He, he, except he... You just got to go check him out. Go check him out. Show him some love. You know, that's what we do. We help each other out, man. We support each other. And if you like it, subscribe. Get, a, get him some subs, some views. And I want to get some responses. I mean, I, I don't want to... This isn't a challenge. I can't call it a challenge. Um, it, it, it's not like I... I mean, I... I want to call out names and, you know, there's, of course, there's a lot of people I don't know that I'm, and I, I still want, I'm interested in your opinion. And then there's always like the Graham Collector 75. I would love to hear his response to this. And of course, Gerard and Mark Rosowski and, and, um, sorry about that. My phone decided, fuck you, you've been going on too long, I'm shutting off. So, back to where I was. Just anybody, everybody that sees this video, just do a, do a quick little video response. Doesn't have to be a long one like mine, because I'm just so fucking, I'm a windbag, man. I just don't know when to shut the fuck up. Uh, my phone's even telling me, shut the fuck up, you've been going on for too long. Alright guys, this has been Tatumus Prime, with his... Holy Grail. Thanks again, Adamanium. You're an awesome dude. I will be talking to you again later here soon. Um, and Oh, uh, another little quick shout out. Uh, the intro. My intro is a little different now. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Corey, hooked me up with the, uh, the graphic. And I was like, yeah, I might be able to do something with that. So thank you, Corey. I appreciate it, brother. Got to give you a shout out for that. And, of course, Patriot Prime. I forgot to shout him out for this. I meant to do this a long time. He's the one that came up with my thumbnail and my fucking background on my channel. <laughs> he hooked me up with that. So thank you, Patriot Prime. I'm, I'm sorry it took me this long to actually get that out there to you. Uh, shit's been crazy. Um, all right, guys, till next time, rock the fuck on.